Alright, what's going on guys? Sass here with another video. Today we're gonna be playing Until Dawn Part 2. And let's do it. Hopefully I don't repeat anything. Oh gosh. Wait, what is it doing? Hopefully I don't have to watch stuff I've already watched, but Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful yeah, tragedy that took place uh, on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. Be one year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. And we're well, back hello, to die. And fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the okay, annual sorry, Blackwood Winter Getaway. Right. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. She looks so and tired. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together mm -hmm. and I'm thinking Death. of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget that's all the right? worst line i've ever heard yes! any video game i've ever played garbage trash but you know it doesn't matter to come all the way out here just to drop one little girl off. I have no idea. We 
Okay, so now this is where we left off. Okay. Fortunately, we had to rewatch all that garbage. But... Ten hours until dawn. I don't know whether that has, that has to do with the actual story or what. I guess we'll find out. And creepy little guy with the machete. We got Sam's Hannibus. Hello? Someone there? This is already getting weird. Twenty one or two. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have go away from that. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. Wait, are we supposed to keep trying opening? Okay, I guess so. I think we're just trying to keep opening up the gate until it opens or whatever. Oh wait, there's another... Sorry, I'm just Another glimp thing right here. I can climb up the wall, okay. Let's do the safe. Oh my god. More active, gal. <sighs> nice fall. It should be pretty soft though, landing in the some snow. Got footprints. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something. Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Okay. It's very brave, okay. See so, us yeah, so, see what we're getting ourselves into here. I could go into this, we'll see what it says. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, coolio. I gotta see our future and then reread the sign.
Okay. Don't know exactly what that means. Features uncertain whether or not the problem on the choices you make. Mm, press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. Chris, are you here? I'm gonna go in here. Okay, so now we gotta investigate a little bit. Let's see what this bag's about. Here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Got a phone. Go Snoop. Aha! Look who it is. <laughs> he knows it. Oh gosh. Chris. That was a crush on Ashley. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Yeah, she wants to know. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Okay. Status update. Someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Collect. Cl oh, so we can collect it. Can we collect it? Oh, we already collected it. Okay. When you look at it, you collect it. Okay, so is it. Is this whole game trying to find out who killed, like. Ta da! Beth and Hannah? Pretty red, right? God, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. It's kind of a loud gun. Don't you think you should be wearing some ear protection, bud? Oh, we're aiming right here. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. <laughs> well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh. No, don't shoot the squirrel. You gotta be kidding me, bro. I'm not aiming at the squirrel, so I don't care. Shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Sir, maybe, maybe, um. Oh, so, okay, so we can, it's cool that we can change characters. Status update. Okay, so, the, legitimately, everything you do changes the narrative of the game. It's kind of amazing, actually. Man, it is... It's 
definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Our control. Okay, nothing over here. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how it keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just have to ask for help. Okay, so we got something down here. Okay, so it's already predicted the future. Actually, we're just going back to where we came, right? This is straight up different spot. Okay. Oh, that, no, never mind. We have. Okay. I'm just being a dummy. I still didn't see, like, the sign. Oh, well. Oh, it's right. I'm an idiot, bro. I've already looked So let's go back down here and see if he's read the sign yet. So I'm just Does he see nothing? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so it's obviously nothing over there. That's all you had to do. You gotta be kidding me. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Oh, it's just camera feed. Good question. Did you ever go to prom? Uh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, Jeez. no, he definitely did. Yeah. I haven't seen him so excited about something. He's probably gonna just gonna kill all of us. You know, it's, it's fine. I, I don't know, kind of 
the word. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, okay, so you're just mentioning the butter. I'm just trying to be quiet for you guys. Listen to it, because it's not really important for me to speak for the rest of this. It's really not. I just, I'm just going to stay quiet most of the time. What we got here? Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Mm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Uh, let's see. Mike, is that the guy we met? Is this the... What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, that's what. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own. Personal playground. Oh. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come yeah. on, Jess, you can tell us. We totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Mm hmm. Yes, you do. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. I know. No. And I don't where's remember. the bellboy when you need one? Oh, okay, so they're boyfriend and girlfriend now, okay. Seems like a manly thing to do. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kinda creeped out. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I okay. almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? Yeah, my jump scaring other people. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. 
Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. Mm -hmm. See ya. So are we gonna go with Mike or... Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Who are we going to go with? I doubt we're going to go with the boy. Probably going to go with Sam or whatever her name is. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Coco, so that's Ashley. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, right, that's Emily and uh, Michael. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Oh. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what are you okay, at? that's the first one that kind of got me. Uh, it... Let me check it out. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself okay. out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. I probably should have never done that. Matt. Oh, well. Okay, let's check my phone. Who would ever read a book anyway? Okay. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> That's oh. a hit. Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! oh I 
Hey! Oh, snap! This is actually kind of fun. Snowball fight! <laughs> Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shaka okay. Oh, you got me. It's the most fun to have. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not hitting the bird. I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. You gotta kiss Mike. Oh, okay. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, I got a frozen penis, but you know, it's fine. Ooh, the, hopefully nobody saw that, or you guys would be screwed. So it's Jess and Mike. I don't know if they're really dating. Hello again. Uh, now we're back with Dr. Hill. This guy's a bit creepy. And how creepy. are we feeling? If you ask me. I felt that we made some good progress. I don't even know. Last session. Who's it, like who we're uh, controlling at this time? Can we find out? No, we can't. Okay. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. I mean, none of them do. I mean, none of them really do. I'll just say crowds. If you're drowning, yes, it's actually true. The snakes scare me. Knives are scary. I mean, none of them are really scary, but knives are more scary. Cockroaches or snakes? Probably cockroaches. Scarecrow. Oh, so if we click, I'm gonna say clowns. Gore or crows? I'm gonna say crows because gore doesn't scare me. Oh, did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Your cockroaches. Actually, I already have spiders. 
I don't like needles. Needles are pretty bad. We're clowns, I guess. Needles. Needles. Storm stones. Oh, are we, what are we trying to get to? This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> this kid's a freak, By bruh. Clown and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> this game's not linear at all. Oh, oh. <clears throat> oh, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but Thank you, Screwball. Once again, he goes over to look at absolutely probably nothing. Creepy guy. Previously on Until Dawn. spend some quality time with it's each, each and every one of you anything. and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters I need to go find Sam son of a bitch uh, I probably should have not let so him I got moved to the back and next to Josh that's how we that's met. how we met boom butterfly effect I feel like this mountain okay. gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, it's yeah. another part it to, same to me. Until Dawn. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, make sure you click the like button. And always remember, it's groovy like a drive-in movie. Peace out.